I see that Ellis of Andes have decided that hot tub streams are no longer the worst thing that's happening on Twitch. And considering the fact that we've already like gotten reactions, where is the origination of this? Like, how did this start? So what is the first uh, video that I have to watch? So I watched this in order. XQC leaked train DMs. XQC, is this it? This is why XQC stopped gambling on stream. 12K upvotes. Wait, where? That's it? That's what they found it from? That's it. That's where, that's uh, what happened. That's what they fucking, oh my God. Scroll over the LS if it's higher. XQC accidentally is how it starts. I'm, I clicked on it already. DMs leaked. God damn. That's what happens when 65,000 people in here, dude. The alt tab, the window preview was scammed by horny juicers. So... Comments, keep that low though. Excuse leaks to the entire world. LMAO. Before Owl, he leaked a shit ton about teams and stuff. Back to the roots. He had DMs open. It didn't close it. It's not streaming one on one. Close all DMs. Truly the Pepega King. He will leak anything somehow. Screenshot. Train. And if you end up doing another site, make sure you do your research. Most of shitty histories, and you don't want that coming back to you in a year. So just make sure you do your research for another site. XCC, can we play one more day? Train. Ask Eddie. Gambling website owner. If he says yes, you have to make a new account. He has to ban your other one. Why do they have to ban the other account? Then you have to play on full screen or block screen in between games. You cannot show your on stake at all. That's why Canada needs to happen ASAP. And you need to let me or Eddie know you're down and when. I'm going to leave for Canada on Friday. Keep that on the low though. Don't want my stalker to fuck with me. Also, bro, don't let me. Let me know what you want to do. Eddie keeps bugging me about it. X is going to prison? No, he won't. But I've been. I'm sorry. Okay. But what the fuck have I been saying? Dude, look, I, I love these guys, okay? But I've literally been saying this. No, nobody fucking listens to me. Nobody listens to me. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, what did I say? I've literally been talking about how all this stuff is, is all it takes is literally for one journalist to be like, what the fuck is going on here? And I talked about how, like, not only is it, straight up like there's no shot that this is legal streamers themselves might not necessarily get in trouble but platforms could and the companies probably will but the, even the streamers could open themselves up to legal liability and that it would make the platform it, it would put the platform in harm's way across the board what exactly is illegal um so there's a couple different types of gambling that is like online gambling that is kind of legal but it's not necessarily fully legal and i'm fairly certain that the reason why this is like crypto is because it is not legal at all a lot of these places operate from like some fucking cayman islands type uh you know uh area and and this is just this is before we curacao okay there it is it's certainly not legal in uh texas I know for a fact that EU has more laws about this than the United States does, but even in the United States, they don't have this shit. But even before that, like, I think it's, it's still not good. But the bag is, is too sweet at the same time, so I get it. Like, I... Because I, Twitch is not a permanent thing. It is 100% legal to gamble online federally in the United States. It's only illegal to operate an online casino. I've done online gambling advocacy for the poker community for years. There's huge misinformation about the law. The way Stake uses crypto makes it sketchy too. Hearing reports of 15-year-olds using Stake. There's a reason why they operate with crypto. Someone else mentioned usually the odds are rigged in the streamers' favors and the streamers are pretending that the money was real. No, the money, I'm pretty sure the money is real. They just like, I think like it only is real if you don't lose it. If you lose it, it's not real. If you don't lose it, it is real. Well, they like they pay you out. Like, they just cover your losses. And it's because it's their own money, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's going back into their pocket. With, I guess, a percentage fee. 
they might just give the streamer x amount of money per hour to gamble everybody has like different blaming crypto on gambling is like blaming alcoholics for bathtub gin wait what no i'm saying they use they use crypto i'm not blaming crypto i'm saying that they use crypto because it's it's uh easier to it's easier to hide assets and and uh not controlled by the government you fucking weirdo isn't that literally the crypto uh, nerds like ultimate reason for loving crypto? It's decentralized currency. Look at Asmongold's take. Asmongold's opinion on the gambling streams. Twitch needs to ban gambling full. I mean, I saw this uh, earlier today. Twitch needs to ban gambling streams full stop or yesterday. The amount of bullshit and pitfalls it's going to create in the next six months will fuck the website in so many ways we don't even realize yet. Yeah, this is this is literally what I said as well, by the way. Just looking at EU gambling laws, anyone can see this will not end well. Legal US online gambling guide. The states where states that offer legal online gambling. New Jersey. Most places will offer online poker. But and, and also online betting sports, but most places don't offer online slots and online casino stuff. New Jersey, on the other hand, offers everything. So does Pennsylvania because they're just goaded on the stack, goaded on the sticks. Texas doesn't seem like uh, offers anything. Are casinos legal? Can you play slots online in Texas? Absolutely not. As is the case with most gambling, including every kind of online gambling, it is not legal to play slot games online in Texas. Will Texas regulate online gambling in the future? Probably not. The truth of the matter is that any expansion of gambling in Texas online or otherwise is going to come as a surprise to those who have lived there for a decent amount of time. Even online gambling and sports betting expand across the nation, including neighboring Louisiana, Arkansas, Mexico, but there is just too high of a legislative hurdle to move past in Texas. Extremely rich in resources. In the cases, the strength of opposition isn't clear. So... This is what, this, the, this is the important designation here. The important distinction is legal online gambling versus offshore sites. What these guys are, what all of these other websites are, are offshore sites. That's what stake is. Stake is an offshore site. Which is why they are not regulated. So they're technically not subject to the laws of either Texas or the U.S. If you encounter an issue, you may have no options to resolve it. Second, there's no guarantee that a reliable consumer watchdog group like the BBB is available to keep tabs on the company's practices or legitimacy. Finally, the offshore site may, fall, may fall short from a technical standpoint, especially when it comes to account security. You're submitting your personal and financial information to the gambling site. Uh, the reality is that outside of the aforementioned sweepstakes sites, there really isn't anything to do in Texas. But wait, it's always possible that one of these attempts to legalize casinos will pan out. It is. It's not every day where they would. Um, turn around and uh, what do you call it? And fucking like, you know, target a person, an individual for playing online. There's a lot of red tape. It killed online poker in the U.S. because they taped off East State into his own player pool. How is gambling not legal in Texas of all places? Why does Aiden and Rice go to Mexico to gamble? This is part of the reason why they do that. To... Uh, to skirt off additional legal scrutiny from doing something that is an illegal act. That's why they do it out of Mexico when they, when they fly out to Mexico and gamble in Mexico. But yes, offshore gambling is still in technically in a legal gray area, which is what they are doing. They're not doing straight slots on the internet. That's why I said they're not regulated and therefore they're not subject to the laws of either Texas or the US. 
Unless the sweepstakes sites like the one was listed above, the casino sites accepting Texas players are based offshore, while the legality of playing at an online gambling site in Texas is debatable, which doesn't mean it's like 100% illegal like playing in a, a sweepstakes site. The real worries have nothing to do with the chance of a fine or police knocking down your door. Offshore, offshore sites carry risks that make playing on them less than ideal. But even outside of like the personal legal scrutiny that streamers are engaging in, I worry more about the streamers themselves developing significant gambling addictions and fucking themselves over. The second thing I worry about, but more so than the streamers fucking themselves over by getting developing legal, I mean, not legal, sorry, uh, gambling addictions is obviously the promotion of gambling to people that will then go and literally sign up on a shady fucking website and, uh, you know, lose their parents' money or whatever. I don't think it's hard not to accept the sponsorship. Trying to deflect onto Twitch is weak, in my opinion. G Fuel's lead lace dust is one thing, but I mean, come on. Are we going to be throwing babies out of the window if Twitch allowed it? Admittedly, I don't know who would so sponsor baby throwing. Perhaps Ludwig. True. Do we get random boxes on Mario Kart? Really promoting gambling, Clint? I know that Nessa is, like, probably memeing here, but... I feel like people are unironically making that argument, and it's a little different, I think. Then why aren't you criticizing XGC and Train? You've just been defending them so far. I think some of you guys have literal fucking uh, zero head uh, brains and don't recognize that I have been a massive fucking critic, critic from day one of online gambling, literally, before anyone else was talking about it to this degree. I have straight up been talking about it non-fucking-stop. Like, literally since day one. Talking about how dangerous it is. Talking about how devastating it is. Talking about it from multiple points of view. For the past, like, fucking four months or whenever the fuck it started. Offshore gambling is a legal gray area in the same way that bank robberies. If the player's physical location governs whether they can gamble. Um, the player's physical location governs whether they can gamble. Which is why you can't bet in sports books in Vegas outside from outside of Nevada. I've been... I've literally... <laughs> like, I don't know how many times I've actually said that uh, this is horrifying and bad and that people shouldn't do it since the fucking beginning. What is this? Receipts for the haters? Hassan's take on gambling? April 25, 2021? You literally lost 100k if that entices you to gamble you deserve to lose your money dude come on bro there's like fucking whether you win or no 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 i'm so telling you, you no the like outcome. there is okay. no motherfuckers see that they tune in they see him winning like five grand in one fucking pull or whatever however that works and then they think like oh shit i'll do it too like i could fucking get that you know what it's I mean? He can lose that kind of money. Lose. You can't. And even then, he can, probably can't fucking lose that kind of money either, especially if it gets out of control. Do not. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. It's not a fucking joke, dude. You will literally never know how to fucking uh, stop. The thing is, here's the thing, okay? Didn't train say you lost 300k off stream? It fucking doesn't matter, dude. It does not matter. Even 300k, he's... This dude stole your take and your fit. Yeah, I know. I've been saying this since fucking April, dude. When when the gambling shit first started popping off, that it's not good, and it's it's uh, uh terrifying overall for all the fucking little kids that are like doing it. And I don't know how many times I've said it. I don't know what else to say. Go to Forsen's take on XQ and train moving to countries to do gambling streams. Your peers, right? You look at your friends, and you re I realize, like, they do this for one month, and they would make more than me streaming for years, and years and years. Several years. And I'm sitting here like a fucking idiot, like, uh, I'm sitting here like a fucking idiot, like, saying, but I have morals. Dude, fuck morals. I'd have to stream Dota Soul Q for fucking five years straight, dude, or some shit, like, a couple years straight. <laughs> Like, even to be close. Like, imagine how tempting it is just saying, 
oh, I'll do it for a fucking month. I don't care about people getting addicted to gambling. I don't care that kids are getting addicted. It's so hard, dude. I'm telling you guys. That's why all these fucking streamers. He's not wrong. The payouts are fucking insane, dude. And also, it's literally like, uh, it, it's, uh, streaming is not permanent. It's not like a forever job. It, it, there's no security in this. The site could go down tomorrow. So, uh, like, a lot of people want to fucking make the bag. Even XQC that was opposed to gambling, he does it because it's so, it's a ridiculous amount of money. Ridiculous. It's this borderline. Said 35k hour, he's wrong. It's not 35k per hour. He's literally, like, maybe fucking, he is saying one-tenth of what the prices probably are. It's illegal, so they have to move around. 35k per hour. To do it, right? And it's ridiculous. Hey, I, I might crack one day. I'm telling you guys. I'm being real with you guys. I might crack one day and do it myself. I'm just trying to offer you guys how hard it is l being like on the same level as people, your peers, right? That was what he was offered a month ago or a couple months ago? That's crazy. That's actually really low, surprisingly, especially for his numbers. Northern Lions thoughts on gambling on Twitch. So here, here's the deal. I may answer your question, thoughts on gambling, but before I answer your question, thoughts on gambling, that you've typed in chat, uh, I don't know, maybe 17 times in the last... By the way, I don't feel the same way about, like, poker and shit, because at least that's, like, a little bit more skill-based. And, uh, it, like, I, even then, it's, like, it should be 18-plus regardless, right? But... At least it's like there is a, a level of skill involved in even fucking blackjack. You know what I mean? Whereas like slots is just straight fucking. Slots is just straight gambling. Nothing else. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just like. Two minutes. Um, I need to know why you're so interested in my thoughts on gambling. And if it's because of the fact that Asmongold tweeted something about uh, how gambling streams shouldn't be enabled on Twitch and thus is, is part of uh, the ongoing circle of Twitch drama, where people don't actually watch streams for entertainment, but exclusively watch to hear what like other people are saying about other people, then I neglect to answer your question and uh, encourage you to get. Poker and Blackjack are PVP, that's why. Hassan, have you ever gambled? Fuck yeah, I've gambled. Lost a fuckload of money in Vegas back in the day. Dude, I've done all the uh, all devices, okay? I have all devices. And I have an incredibly addictive personality. So that's precisely why I uh, don't fuck around with that shit. And that's precisely why I tell you all the goddamn time. As I have time and time and time again. Don't fucking do it. Don't fuck with it. You are, you will not like, you will never win, okay? You will never, ever, ever win. Why do you suppose Twitch hasn't cracked down hard on stream gambling? Aren't they just one news story from getting absolutely blasted in the mainstream? They are. I don't know why. Maybe they don't think it's bad. I don't know. I mean, they might have, like, legal gambling. Maybe they have, like, legal gambling sponsors, so they feel like it would be controversial or something. I, I really don't know. A, a real hobby. <laughs> But yeah. So here, here's the. Fed learns that spreading your ex's nudes is not good. There was a story here where, like, um. Yeah? Uh, there was this, this guy had a girlfriend, right? And, yeah. You know, the girlfriend sent him nudes. Okay. And, um. You know, he, what happened? They broke up, and so, like, out of anger. The guy sent the nudes to like his buddy, and the buddy sent it to the other buddy, and it just went like the whole school had her nudes. Wow, right? that's um, cray. I just want to say like that in and of itself is another example of like violating consent. Like, <laughs> even though you know, I don't think this is an issue that Twitch can reasonably regulate, considering that gambling laws vary so much by where streamers are located, and it's hard to say that predatory shit like gotcha games, FIFA, and NBA 2K loot boxes and Pokemon card unboxings are also gambling. It's something that is going to take regulatory crackdown. I agree. Uh, that's probably that's probably a big reason. Yes, MOJD, uh, our a resident legal nerd. For so long, we were trained to be like, correct. "Oh, consent has to do with like you know, sex, <laughs> you know stuff like that." But 
like, no, it's, they're, they're sensitive. Photos. Did you guys know that you know, if a bitch breaks up with you and you send her nudes to everybody, you know, even that's awesome, wrong, like, guys? Consent. And I just want to say, like, you can see. I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, it's not forever takes fucking dumb. It's not a defense. I'm saying that that's part of the reason why so many people fucking cave and do it. Most of you make more than the average person makes in their life. Have popular YouTube channels and social media. Your connections are endless. It's fucking ridiculous for you to say streaming is not stable when it's probably the most stable job during the pandemic. It was the most stable job during the pandemic. But it's not permanent. It's significantly more volatile than... It's significantly more volatile than fucking... Uh, uh, other lines of profession even other lines of profession that like include giving you residuals like in hollywood shit that have more unions and whatnot i'm just letting you know it's not permanent but you make so much in a few years that you're set for life yeah you guys literally look to a streamer that has consistently had the, like been one of the top five most subscribed to channels on the platform and assume that it's the same for so many other motherfuckers like you have no concept no way to comprehend it you're literally just looking at me and assuming that every streamer is like me not every streamer is like me even out of big streamers they're not like me and also on top of that i personally only uh i personally get my main source of revenue from my subscriptions, okay, from you guys. I don't do that many like ad uh, deals or whatnot. I turn down brands quite regularly. I don't seek to, and it's not because I'm like good or anything like that. I'm not even saying that. I just don't care about it. Okay. I mean, viewers look at other people, right? Yeah, but people literally fucking, even with me, people make it seem like I've literally made this much money it's only because you set sub goals. I don't have sub. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Never mind. Even if you hit it big as a streamer, even that is not permanent. You understand? Even that is not fucking permanent. Okay. Didn't ca cla Cash App fly you all out to the main weather fight? No, motherfucker. I pay for that shit out of pocket, dude. The fuck do you mean? No, bitch. Will paid for the hotel room. Anyway. You don't think we noticed your product placements, Mr. Grateful Dead? <laughs> yeah. Actual L, really? Yeah, no, they only supplied the fight ticket. That's it. Ultimately, I think Clint's take is correct. There's a reason why I wouldn't take shit like that. And, uh, and, and that reason is because I think it's very dangerous. I, I do. Today marks the one year since Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch. This chat is so stupid sometimes. Accuse you of getting deals or they get mad at you for not taking advantages of companies and corps giving you deals. Like, Buddha and Anthony Z are great examples of this, right? Of streamers that... Uh, when no pixel is, like, popping off, they have, like, a one-year period where they blow the fuck up. And this time around, it has stayed consistent for a lot longer than it actually has. But those guys, like, I've had conversations with them. And those guys have, like, literally told me it's not the same. When, when no pixel is not hitting, when it's no longer in fashion, when the wave goes away for RP, they're not, they don't have uh, fucking uh, 30,000 people in their chat or... 10,000 or 15,000 subs or whatever the fuck. It doesn't work that way. So they have like a very limited window of time.
Why do you choose not to work with brands that you would actually want to endorse? I mean, there aren't that many brands that I would want to endorse. I work with brands if I like, you know, consume their products naturally, or if I, uh, or if it's like a video game or something that I would play. But beyond that, it's not. It's crazy to compare one hit wonders to you who gets 60K viewers consistently every day, except when he's gaming, when he gets 2K. It's really funny, dude. Buddha had 500 viewers last year when he got banned off no pixel. Exactly. So. This was offered 300 K a month for 10 streams. It's understandable that people doing it daily are addicted to the paycheck. Yeah, it's just, fu that's like low, dude. That's a low, low amount. That's a low ass amount. <sighs> Piston, you thoughts I wonder on if it's possible. I feel like if you burn XQC once, you're like permanently on his bad side. So at the risk of that, I thought it was really funny that XQC was like, you guys are so mature, you don't know what's going on. It's like, no, I think everybody kind of knows what's going on. That's not even true. I fucking yelled at XUC a bunch during No Pixel, and, you know, that's not... It wasn't like a like a permanent uh, bridge burning at all. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious to see. It's really funny when he's like, you guys are reading too much into the messages. Like, no, nah, I think people can see, like, pretty much exactly, like, what's going on with the messages. I don't think, it's, I don't think anybody's, like, falsely reading in anything, but... No, we, like, straight up... If it's we straight up uh, were not on uh, good terms, and and that's not the case anymore. If you let if you had let XG kill you and Anthony Z and no pixel that one day, he'd have no gamba addiction. Way to go! Yeah, it's my fault. Love response to Clint and then gambles. Chips. Uh, does he not fucking get that people's careers on Twitch last literally like years and then it goes away? Like a few fucking years. And like G Fuel is like a sick product and like the baby throwing is obviously a joke, but I don't know. I don't take fucking super sponsorships like that. All right, we have a quick gambling stream right now. Let's just get to this. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is brought to you by Pokemon. But that's not what we got to worry about. We got to worry about getting Pikachu, Pikachu. Such a fucking idiot, dude. Hey, he's doing, he's doing mogul moves, dude. He's doing mogul moves, baby. That's what he's doing. Um, Misgive leagues the offer you got from online gambling services. Companies. I'm kind of bummed. Like, not a single online gambling service hit me up. Not that I would do it, but still. Because it's not just oh, fuck, dude. How come? How come? How come? How come, I'm, how come I'm not getting looks for online gambling? What? What is that? I know a lot of you guys just know. What am I a fucking brand risk, dude? Like Rubrit. What is it? Is that it? Rubit. I don't really know the names. Um, steak. Everyone knows Steak. Steak's the most popular one, and that's because Train does it, and, and XTC does it, right? Um, if they started to reach out to me, because they're like, oh, okay, you're down to do this. To be fair, I, I know why I didn't get fucking... I know why I didn't get fucking online gambling uh, uh, ads offers, because I've literally been shitting on them nonstop! Uh, and this is when I... Only some of the fucking dumbass chatters knew that. But no! Ah, nah, 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 Hassan, you're only saying this now because it's fashionable. <laughs> I was having like 20,000 viewers, right? Wasn't, I, I, I've, I've grown. These companies were coming to me with, they're like, hey, we want you to stream on our website, gamble, and we are willing to pay you $35,000 an hour. And it's very weird. Like, I wasn't getting ever. That was double any sponsorship I ever got in my entire life. But, listen. It's what they wanted. So they were offering me a companies. Cause you couldn't say it was from promoting a horrible game like Dark Alliance? Dude, Loki, Dark Alliance was the most fun I've had during a hashtag ad gaming session. Uh, in the very limited amount of hashtag ad games that I've played. Like, but mostly because I was playing with other streamers like Lyric and Misgif and, and Moxie. Because it's not... Anyway, um... Yeah, I mean, these guys are... Most of the chatters were saying I'd sell out for 35k an hour. All right, like... 
Yeah, most people would, and most people do. And it's not just 35k an hour, it's a lot I more. I promoted it on stream too much, and we went way too far with this. And it's all my fault, because I, I'm, I'm a terrible person, dude. But then, I bought a dog and went to the gym. And now we're good, boys, now we're back. Boys, what up, what up? Why is there Twitch in light mode? It's not. Miskip on Greek losing money and why he turned away the gambling deal. Greek did gamble. Greek lost a shit ton of fucking money. And then Greek, next thing I know, I see him on stream. He has X base point stake and he's doing media share on top of it. You know? Uh, it, but Greek's lucky because he's able to do that so he can make back his money. You guys aren't. My viewers are not lucky where they have a platform where they can just put on, get, instantly get free money and grow and recoup. You guys are mostly. The difference is that the streamer who gets offered those deals are earning way more than the average viewer, uh, uh, viewer. It's not the same. No, I understand. That's why I said it's not 35K. It's what 35K to you is the amount of money that uh, streamers are getting offered for them. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and also, making probably like thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year. You don't have that kind of luxury, you know. You don't have that kind of luxury to try to make that back. And I think it's some hard, sometimes very hard for streamers to really see that in you guys or see that you guys are people. Uh, but it actually took me to literally see them. Like, I saw Greek, some of my mods, and I'm like, man, I can't do this anymore. I can't. It's not worth the money. It would double and a half my income. Why well, do like I the acting the amount of money absolves them of any accountability? I don't think they're... I don't think anyone thinks it absolves them of accountability. I'm just giving you why... Uh, why uh, people would do it. Took these and deals, do it, it would double and a half my income. And are doing it. It's crazy to turn away, right? And I think a lot of Greek... Yeah, Miskip is above gambling, but not above housing, befriending, and making content with a racist. You fucking got him, dude. Yeah, you fucking... Yeah, you fucking got him, dude. Fucking own, dude. Yeah, fuck you, Miskip. Hell yeah, dude. You got him. Hold out. That Hassan Piker was upset that I was playing Dark Alliance with other people. Is that <laughs> true? Is that a true statement? It's true. I, I, I told him, too. I told him this. Yes? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't... Listen, I don't know why you think you can just ignore me, leave me at home, and think that you're gonna be able to just hang on to all this man, okay? Seriously. You didn't invite me nowhere, alright? You didn't invite me to play no video games, alright? I'm sorry, alright? He's, he's, he's not wrong. It's true. It's my fault. Hey, I'm sorry I'm so much fun, okay? If you wanna hang on to me, you better treat me better, alright? Okay? I fucking love when my fellow gay pop off on you, LMAO. He's not even gay, dude. <laughs> nah, I, listen, I would have played with Hank. I just did not know he was going to play that game. He's in my fellow gay, dude. I'm sorry, chatter. I'm sorry to hurt your fifis, but he's not, he's not a fellow gay. He goes live after watching an old Amaranth VOD. XQCL. Is that a finals mouse? Oh no. Oh no. Was Hank your Smile. white person name in college or basketball camp? No, only Will calls me Hank. Well, Will's aunt, uh, Will's aunt calls me Hank. Oh.
He's using a t-shirt. Soda gets a hole in one. So let's go like right here. That's crazy. Hole in one. Crazy. So let's go like. Baby games. Destiny reacts to Fez's return stream. Okay, I don't care. Car raises more than 900k for St. Jude. A good part was donated by a lottery winner who's part of the community. That's fucking sick. The girl orders halal food. I'll have it anyway. Yeah, I'll have buffalo wings. And I'll have a... This is halal, by the way, chat. Um, I'll have a cheeseburger. Um, our, our meat is not halal, I'm afraid. Oh, no, I, I was just saying it for the stream. Don't worry. Okay, pretend don't we worry. pretend. Yes, our, our meat is definitely halal. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'll have a cheeseburger, yeah, with the gluten-free bread. No problem at all. Just bear with me a moment, just so I get uh, this allergy put through correctly. So it's the buffalo wings and a cheeseburger. Yeah. And that comes with... I'll have it anyway. The, hal the halal. This isn't the Fed Meister's body transformation was natural. Every day. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. Let's be real. But... Two, three hours minimum. Oh, sorry. Two, two hours minimum. Three hours max. Ate like a fucking horse every day. Okay, now I think he's. Now I think he roided. Three hours a day from little to no training to three hours a day. Two to three hours a day. I don't think a normal human body can do that. I don't think you have. You need time to recover. Um, no way. Yeah, I go to the gym every every day, two three hours, and I have a trainer. All right, never mind. He's on the sauce, boys. <laughs> he has sauce. That's not hard. I mean, dude, he, like, he was. I mean, that's. I don't know why anyone would ever work for three hours a day. It's like wild. It's no a wild shit. amount of work. All I know is his hair is greasy, and he's four foot two. This fucking gnome. Okay, what do you want from me? I don't know what the fuck. Okay, you cannot. First of all, I shower every other day. It's really hard to do personal digs on my hygiene when people watch you eat the skin off the bottom of your toes on stream. Okay, that is not an insult that you can make. Okay. Secondly, He's just to be wrong. clear, my references were to trains messages. I don't know people like guessing about XQC's problems and shit. I just saw that I just saw train messaging saying he was going to Canada and shit. It looked like he's doing it because he's got whatever. That's what it looked like to me. I don't know anything about speculating on XQC shit. I should have made that clear. No shit. Maybe he's accounting for cardio and stretching. Dude, three hours of nonstop working out is crazy. It's not happening. It's fans in denial. Oh my God. This is not me. Oh my God. Not S fan lore. Guys. He's a dragon man, dude. This fan before streaming. Excuse me, denies he's promoting gambling. Hey, people say, yeah, but dude, but dude, yeah, but you promoted it. Okay. For the record, I don't know what XQC's involvement is. I don't even know what Train's involvement is with the website. Personally, I have no idea what the contracts are for these people or if they got hashtag ad sponsored deals. I have zero fucking knowledge of whatever the fuck was going on there. I still think that like, regardless, it's still bad to just like fucking, you know, drop slots. Listen, you fuck. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. The site that we played on. Okay. The site that we played on. Crypto shit. You literally have to have a crypto wallet bullshit that's actually hard to create, load the juice in it somehow, dump it on the other thing, then use it there. Some of the things that these guys promoted, okay, had PayPal links and credit card links that anybody just plug their shit in. Literal links to PayPal directly. 
Holy shit! If you want to talk about, to talk about accessibility... <laughs> this guy goes, you're being criminal on stream. <laughs> Oh my god. This guy says it criminal. Okay. Okay, listen. Go read a go read a book. Go read And we'll say yeah. Stake has a credit card option where you pay premium for the crypto. Is he talking about stake? Because it's literally not that hard to deposit. I don't know. I've fucking never been on this website. So I don't even know. We read the same comment. <laughs> yeah. You can buy a card on stake, XQC Lion. So because it takes more steps, it's not as bad as he's stupid. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how easy or difficult it is to fucking join the site. I, it doesn't matter. It's still like, I mean, look, obviously it was profitable. Otherwise these dudes won't be like, I mean, we saw the fucking payout that like, uh, Aiden Ross was getting. It was like fucking 2 million or some shit, right? Yeah. It was six people and it was like for. It was more than 2 million, but it was for six different people over the course of like a month with multiple streams, but it's still, that's so much fucking money per month. But like, these guys aren't stupid. They fucking know. They know that like, they're going to get a return on that investment. You see what I'm saying? So like, obviously, uh, obviously, you know, enough people do it no matter how hard it is. That's a different deal. Stake pays train and execute a decent percentage of the total amount wagered of everyone who uses their referral code. Train is around 15 to 20K a day. I, I feel like you're saying that. I don't know if you're right or not. I don't know if that's how uh, the sponsorship deals work for them or not. My point is they're still getting like paid a fuckload, right? So obviously it's working. This is the clip you guys sent me earlier today, and then I didn't look at it until LSF, so let's take a look at it now. I can't with the people saying Hassan. <laughs> no! I'm Waiting changing the word Hassan! <laughs> Waiting for Hassan. <laughs> He's gonna go watch some videos and just do a lot of commentary on the stream. God. Waiting for Hassan. Aww. That's dope, dude. Dude, she's so talented. Holy shit. Someone made a cute video using that already? Austin on for Hassan. <laughs> He's gonna go watch some videos. What the and fuck? And just do a lot of commentary on the stream. It's all a meme. So now, what are we waiting for? Waiting for Hassan. Damn, it's like I fucking reacted to it already. He even put my laughter in it. What the fuck, dude? He pre-watched. He pre-watched the future, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's crazy. And the constellation that I'm looking for. I'm searching for Hassan. <laughs> Gonna go watch some videos and just do a lot of commentary on the stream. It's all a meme. So now, what are we waiting for? Waiting for Hassan. <laughs> what will he do? <laughs> he 
Dude, that is so... That's so cute, dude. What the fuck? It's like a, it's like an anime outro, dude. What the fuck? That's so sick. It gave me goosebumps, man. The poster is a time variant. Yeah. Austin Ox. Nah, he's just vegan, dude. That's how vegans are. They got precognition. I mean, every time he pauses the video and talks about it for 30 minutes, gonna spam waiting for Hassan now every time he pauses. I've edited it into a song with other pauses and made a video for it. I haven't watched a Twitch VOD, VOD anything less than one and a half X for a long time. I just look at stuff on my other monitor until the stun lock wears off. Honestly, stun locks are a lot more fun when you're actually in chat. I tried watching him. I gave up after a couple tries. Worst part about the pause is that they're always before the video is about to explain what he paused, explain or complain about the video. Won't go into detail about the whys. Okay, dude. Pre-watching Piker. That was pretty good improv. Slightly modifying or existing lyrics. I'm just looking for like a bad comment. You know what I mean? I'm literally currently looking for a bad comment so I can announce the top of the hour ad break coming in right now. What is this? Dude. <laughs> Rant start. What I'm simply stating is what I'm trying to describe here is God damn it. Stop pogoing me. Top of the hour. Every hour. 60 second ad break. <laughs> yes. Yes. You are learning my tactics. <laughs> Ew, very good. Okay, I don't want you guys to think that every time I say what I'm stating is. I don't want you to think that it's always a fucking ad break, you know? That's not good. It officially announces OTV rejects. And uh, I like to uh, officially announce Offline TV rejects. Yo, Chris Chan, Albert, get on the phone, baby. Yo, we're getting a house. <laughs> bit by bit. Yikes, dude. Okay, I don't think he uh, realizes this. It's like, is he leaning into it or something? Like, what's he doing? Kind of. It's kind of weird, dude.